Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Azrock sent over one of the most interesting boards I've seen in a very, very long time. They sent over their X570 Phantom Gaming ITX TB3, which is a tiny little motherboard designed for Ryzen 3000 that has a few unique features. One is the cool mounting solution, but more notably, the inclusion of Thunderbolt 3. Now, we don't have very many Thunderbolt 3 devices. However, we do have an RTX 2070 eGPU. With that said, I want to see if the eGPU performed better than, than when it was connected up to my laptop with an external display connected. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep this video as short and sweet as possible and see if an external GPU with Thunderbolt 3 works on X570. Let's do it. Okay, this is not gonna be a deep dive into Thunderbolt 3 or ASRock's implementation of it on X570. This is more to talk about the performance we observed with an eGPU to answer one of the most asked questions we've received about this new ASRock X570 ITX board. So let's talk about how we tested this. We used the Aorus RTX gaming box with the RTX 2070 in it. This product is now end of life, but I really wanted to see what the limitation of Thunderbolt 3 was on a system that shouldn't really compromise on any performance at all. We put a Ryzen 7 3700X on the ASRock X570 Phantom Gaming ITX TB3 with the Cooler Master Hyper D92 to cool it. Now we didn't overclock the CPU, we only enabled the XMP profile with the RAM, we used the same memory from our regular test bench, 16 gigs of XPG Gamex D30 at 3200 megahertz, and we ran our regular suite of benchmarks. We don't include 1% highs or lows with these tests because for us it would just introduce a whole lot of extra testing, and I personally feel in this case in particular that an average frame rate will give you a good indication of the expected performance with this type of setup. Now we, we use three benchmarks that we usually always use to test the GPUs in different situations because they utilize the GPU in different ways. So yeah, let's get out, let, let's, let's start this off and let's start off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. For the 1080p test, you saw the eGPU get an average score of 43 frames per second. For the 1440p test, you saw the eGPU get an average score of 51 frames per second. For the 4K test, we saw the eGPU get an average score of 31 frames per second. All right, let's move on to Unigen Superposition. For Superposition, we performed three tests in total. We have the 4K optimized preset, the 1080p extreme preset, and a custom 1440p preset with depth of field and motion blur turned off. For the 1440p custom test, we saw the eGPU get an average score of 96 frames per second. For the 4K optimized test, we saw the eGPU get an average score of 49 frames per second. For the 1080p extreme test, we saw the eGPU get an average score of 37 frames per second. The last batch of tests is with the Final Fantasy 15 benchmarking tool. Let's do it. For the 1080p test, you saw the eGPU render a total amount of 6,013 frames. For the 1440p test, you saw the eGPU render a total amount of 4,762 frames. For the 4K test, you saw the eGPU render a total amount of 3,117 frames. It's pretty clear now that the laptop we used in the initial testing was not to blame. Even with the results from the follow-up we did that the community requested, we saw very similar results to the ASRock X570 setup. I think it's fair to say that the limitation is with Thunderbolt 3 itself, which if I'm honest, I was expecting. I, I didn't expect a wildly faster and newer CPU with a 
faster Thunderbolt 3 implementation to be better in relation to GPU performance. I wanted to address the performance because since we released the original X570 Phantom Gaming ITX TB3 video, we've had quite a few questions about eGPU support and performance. So let, let us know what you think in the comments below. Personally, I think Thunderbolt 3 has its place and yes, I am aware of USB 4.0, but yeah, this is not a discussion about USB 4.0. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you hated about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting better results because I knew that Thunderbolt 3 is the actual bottleneck with this setup. Thanks for watching.